Good afternoon, Packers fans. Aaron Nagler here with your Packers Daily Chat, coming to you live on the Cheesehead TV social channels. It is Wednesday, and the Green Bay Packers are headed to Brazil. That's right. News broke this morning. Put up a video earlier today. If you haven't checked that out, I encourage you to do so, because I see some people in the chat asking questions that were answered in that video. I mean, I don't care. I'm excited as hell. I am absolutely thrilled for Brazilian Packers fans who have been waiting for this moment for so long, seemingly since I've been on the internet, I remember people in Brazil wishing and hoping that they get to see the Packers play in their home country. And now it's going to happen on September 6th, a Friday night game, the first time the league has op- had an opening weekend Friday night games in over 50 years. Pretty incredible. And no, the Packers do not lose a home game. This is a, quote, home game for the Eagles. The Packers are the visiting team, though you can bet there will be plenty of representation from Packers fans in that stadium. I suspect it'll be a lot like London where Packers fans just take over. And that's not to dismiss the Eagles fans. I'm sure they will travel well, but they're going to be traveling. The Packers fans are already there in Brazil on mass. So just, to, I'm thrilled about it. I can't wait to, you know, experience it. Corey and I will be going and uh, Tyler is going and GZ DV is going to be throwing down. It's going to be a good time. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to meet all these Brazilian fans that I've, you know, seemingly known somewhat online over the years. Never, you know, had much of a uh, longer conversation other than a couple of appearances on, uh, you know, some podcasts and things like that. But I just know how excited they are. I know how much this means to them. And I'm just thrilled that it's happening for them. And I love that the Packers opening on a Friday coming off a bye week, essentially, now that the preseason is only three games, and then having that Friday game in an elongated time before you have to play again in week two, if you're going to play internationally, it's a perfect time to do it. Right off the bat, completely somewhat isolated, right? And I also love the opponent. I love the Eagles. I think they're a fascinating team. I think they're still incredibly talented. I think it's going to be a good football game, which is essentially what we what we most want, right? Uh, yeah, I just think it's a brilliant package. The NFL is uh, killing it with this matchup, and I can't wait. Hello to everybody in the comment section. So good to see everybody. Uh, I see Ryan Willie is here. I'd rather see them play in Germany. That's some strong Eeyore energy you got there, Ryan. Kudos. Uh, so excited for the game in Brazil. What's up, Lee? How are you? We got Cheesehead Joey starting us off with a super chat. Brazil, let's fucking go. So happy for the Packer fans in Brazil. You and me both. And I've seen that sentiment a lot today, and I'm, I'm really happy about that because I think people, I think lots of Packers fans do recognize how rabid and diehard these Brazilian fans are and how it's going to be a party. It's going to be a good time. Dustin, what's up, man? See you in Brazil, Nags, random Packer, Scott Hunter. <laughs> Scott Hunter. Ouch, man, that's a tough one. Robert, thanks for the super chat. I'm not a fan of international games, but since it is a reality, the song of the day is Going to Brazil by Motorhead. <laughs> That's good. I mean, I understand fan, some fans are not fans of the international games. Completely understand that. But it's here to stay. And, you know, they will continue to be in the rotation to play over overseas. There will be probably either next year or two years from now uh, be playing most likely in Europe, probably in Germany, and that will be uh, a year where they don't have nine home games like they do this year. Um, it's just part of being in the NFL. They want to grow the game internationally. They clearly have saturated the market in America. They want to continue to grow beyond their borders, and that's what these games do. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm thrilled about it. Corey, what's up, man? Thanks for being a Care of the G Club member. Happy for the Packers going to Brazil and the Brazil Packer fans, but come on, get the Packers to Germany. That'll happen, Corey. I have zero doubt that over the course of the next three, four years, you will see the Packers in Germany. That is going to happen. Andrew, what's going on, man? Love it, but we better get three straight home openers. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I saw Wes kind of point that out today on Twitter that Matt LaFleur has never opened a season at home. <laughs> like They have been on the road to start the season every year since he's been the head coach. That's a little crazy. That's a little silly. So, yeah, next year at least, they better be opening at Lambeau. 
Brandy, thanks for being a Care of the G Club member and a moderator here at Cheesehead TV. How do you say tackle somebody in Portuguese? <laughs> I don't know, but I suspect we're going to learn real quick. Justin, thanks for the super chat. NFL is just shameless. Thursday night football, 17-game season now, Christmas games, even if it's Wednesday, and now Friday night game overstepping high school ball. Yeah, welcome to the 21st century. I mean, they've been shameless for a while now. You know, all those aging chestnuts of, oh, we don't want to play on a Friday because of high school football. That That is over. Game over in that regard. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong. And this is how they continue to grow. Let's continue to grow that revenue pie that gets bigger and bigger and bigger by adding a game. Probably going to be at 18 games pretty soon. You know, Thursday Night Football, that's a separate media package that brings in millions of dollars. I mean, they, we have streaming exclusive games now, which this Packers game will be exclusive on Peacock, right? This is how they grow. This is how they make their money and continue to kind of expand their fiefdoms, if you will. So, yeah, shame is not something that they uh, really travel in in any way, shape or form. Uh, what else we got here, folks? Andre says, we are so happy it's going to be a home sweet home game. I promise you guys. Yeah, I tell you what, man, the, the Brazil fans keep telling us how insane it's going to be. I generally believe them. It's going to be very Packers friendly all week and definitely during the game. So I am all in on that. <laughs> I love this. Dennis, I'm not buying Peacock for one game, bastards. <laughs> man, I love Peacock. I use it to follow Premier League. And they've got some decent movies and shows on there. I mean, what is it, five bucks? Come on, you cheap bastard. Tim, what's up? Thanks for the super chat. I already hate the Vikings' new quarterback. <laughs> he hasn't even been drafted yet, and you hate him. That's good. That means you're in the right mindset. I like it. Dennis, how are you, man? Good to see you mixing it up here today. Oh, Black Swan. Brandy, uh, Black Swan has it in YouTube here, how to say tackle somebody in Portuguese. I am not going to attempt to say that because I am sure I will butcher it. Soder, how you doing, brother? Don't matter where you open the season. Sure, it doesn't matter where you close the season. Random Packer, Del Rogers. Del Rogers. None of this Amari or Aaron stuff. We got Del Rogers up in the house. And yes, you are 100% correct. Doesn't matter how you start. Matters how you finish. Let's finish in New Orleans. I'm down with this idea. <laughs> Patrick. I'm not going to repeat that on the air, but good for you. Any thoughts on defensive back game and green signing? Uh, I have no thoughts. Is that something that has just occurred? Because I have not seen it. I'm trying to take a quick look here. Uh, don't see anything on the old machines. Oh, there we go. Game and green. Packers have signed a cornerback. Sounds like a depth player to me. A Giants practice squatter. Uh, First-year player, originally signed as an undrafted free agent. Yep, that's a depth signing, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, the world needs ditch diggers, too. Uh, so what time here is this Brazil game? I believe it's going to be in prime time in America. Um, I don't know the exact uh, like kickoff time yet. I, it may be out there. I've, I've seen the date, but I haven't seen a time yet. Um, it may, but again, they, they may have announced it, but I didn't see it in the release this morning. Uh, random Packer, Jim McMahon, Matt Hasselbeck. I like it. Quarterback love. Um, what else we got here, folks? <laughs> I love everyone telling Brandy how to say tackle somebody in Portuguese now. That's great. Uh, M, how are you, man? I suspect the Packers will perform a ton of primetime games this season. I am very much in agreement with you. I think there is little doubt, and I think you've already seen it, right, with how they're positioning this opening game against the Eagles. Hertz, obviously, has played in the Super Bowl, played really well in that game, too. He's one of the young, bright, shining, up-and-coming stars at the position. Sure feels like the league would love to position Jordan Love along with him in that regard, and Hopefully he does continue to shine and improve and become a very, very good quarterback. And they have a next kind of not face of the league, because obviously right now that's probably Patrick Mahomes. But 
you know, a new flock of young quarterbacks to get you excited. Definitely kind of utilize them when you are, as the NFL, marketing the league, both overseas, but you know, especially at home. No doubt that they want to feature Jordan Love, and I do think that is going to lead to a number of primetime games this season. I mean, we all know they kind of backloaded it last year with prime timers just to make sure that if he wasn't playing well, they could flex out of those. But I think you'll see them throughout uh, the 2024 season. I'll be very surprised if that doesn't happen. She said, Joey, what's up? Random Packer, Spencer Havner. We had him the other day. You guys are starting to repeat. Got to dig deeper. Got to dig deeper. What else we got here, folks? What would you think is a fair extension for Jordan Love? Really interested in your opinion on that topic. Andrew, thanks for asking. Um, I've been pretty consistently saying I would suspect he gets $50 million a year, probably a four-year extension. Maybe they get to a fifth year. Um, obviously, it really depends on what the cap hits are, how they are able to structure that, both bonus guarantees and um, – the length, again, I got to think the Packers would try to get to, you know, at least five years, if not longer. But man, athletes first, they are, they are no joke. And they will only get, you know, agree to terms if it's, you know, rock solid for their client. And I don't think Malgetta, um, Aaron, not Aaron, Jordan's agent is going to want to tie him down for too long. You know, obviously the, if the number's right, Maybe they get a few more years on this extension, but I would suspect, like I said, at least 50, if not more, per year, and uh, probably four years is my guess. <laughs> you guys are funny. Random Packer, Bubba Franks. Uh, Jim McMahon values his Packers Super Bowl ring more than his Bears Super Bowl ring. I don't know if that's strictly true. Heeb Sheboygan, what's up? Hey, Aaron, loved yesterday's show with the Green Bay mayor. Glad you got the city's perspective. Oh, thanks for checking it out. Um, yeah, I heard from a lot of people afterwards who thought that, you know, the mayor did a good job of presenting, obviously, his and the city's viewpoint. Would have loved to have somebody from the Packers represented. We did ask them. They, they declined for obvious reasons. We're a podunk YouTube channel. Why do they care? But yeah, I thought I was really happy that the mayor came on, and I thought he was very, very articulate. I thought he did a good job of, you know, pulling back the curtain a little bit and telling us what's up when it comes to why the negotiations have broke down and hope uh, a, a hopeful kind of look ahead to the future where hopefully this gets sorted out these next couple months. But um, really appreciate everyone who did watch and chimed in both live and then afterwards. Um, heard from a lot of people and i really appreciate everyone watching and listening uh joey what's up man i propose we get a piggly wiggly to brazil <laughs> i saw that k adams clip that tyler put out it was very funny <laughs> jeezy baby what's up man random packer cj wilson eastern carolina pride cj wilson piano player if you please nags you going to brazil does the pope wear a funny hat well yeah i guess it is kind of funny you bet I'm going to Brazil. Can't wait. Very excited. Johnny says, I appreciated you not throwing him softballs, Nags. Thank you, Johnny. I didn't want to be antagonistic, but, you know, there is another viewpoint that I wanted to make sure got represented. That's pretty much it, you know. Uh, it was funny because Corey was talking before we went live how, uh, you know, he knows my pressure points. Corey does because, you know, my mother, and I've talked about this a lot, was was very adamantly against the referendum that, you know, resulted in the sales tax that helped the kind of remodeling, refurbishing of Lambeau Field back in 2003. Um, and so he always kind of plays into that, like, you know what your mother would say kind of thing. But I'm a Packers fan and uh, I want to know what they're thinking and get their viewpoint as well as the cities. Because, like, look, let's be honest, Corey Banke is now Mr. Green Bay. So let's get a perspective from outside of the city. That's that's my job. We need to bring a quick trip and a Culver's to Brazil. <laughs> Logan. I just love the idea of a ton of Wisconsinites descending on Brazil. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're so pretty there, you know. Oh, great. It's going to be so fun. Uh, Corey with some Brazil-related drinks. I think that's on the menu. 
I think that's going to happen, Brandy. We got to get some more uh, cocktail content here on the YouTube channel. Corey's got a mission now. No question about it. Oh, did you see the tweet about the informal ban wearing green in the stadium in Sao Paulo? Yes, uh, I've heard about that from a lot of Brazilian fans in the lead up to this announcement. Um, and now the NFL has put the Packers and the Eagles in a game there. So, yeah, the people are going to be wearing green. Just so you know. Jeezy baby, what's up, man? Need instance instant analysis on Game and Green signing. Jeezy baby talked about it a little bit ago. Um former practice squatter, undrafted free agent, definite depth signing, probably like him on teams. Suspect uh it's part of the trying to keep the competition flowing, the floor of the roster, probably the back end of the roster. No guarantee he even makes the opening day roster. But uh world needs ditch diggers too. Bring a pack of carry the G down there. Uh, we will endeavor to find a way to get some carry the G to Brazil. I'm not going to say for certain, but we did get some to London. So we'll try and get some to Brazil. That, that's for sure. I suspect the brandy old fashioned is not a Brazilian staple. I think you might be correct there, Soder. All right, everybody. I'm going to have to cut it a little short today. Um, I have to get going because I got a lot of stuff to do before we get to the happy hour at the top of the hour. It's 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 o'clock Lambo time. If you're a Patreon member, a Care of the G Club member, or a subscriber on Twitter, the information is on your respective pages. In the meantime, please hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, and tell your family, Cheesehead TV. We are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great night. Go Pack Go. <laughs> 